Hey guys, my name is Quinn, lead uh, product designer here at Vice Designs, and today we're showing you how to use our integrated winch kit on our 5th gen Ram 1500s. So uh, right now we've got the Smittybilt X20 12,000 pound winch tucked in here, and uh, really simple operation. Take our controller, switch it to wireless, and now we're completely connected to our winch without wires. Um, gonna relieve tension off here to start, and then we can free spool and hook up to something. So just using the O button, loosen it off a little bit. Now our hook's loose. If you've got our integrated uh, winch clutch relocation kit, this just will turn. Just wanna make sure there's no Pinch on here. If it doesn't turn, just bump it out a little bit more until it comes. So now we're in free spool mode. Hook up to my broken down Hemi down the road here. Hook it to a secure mounting location. Then you go back in. Re-engage, clutch is engaged. We're gonna pick up the slack here, make sure you're wearing gloves. Line is taut. I can actually go and sit in the vehicle now with this, put on the brake. And we've got Matt, he's in the vehicle driving down below. Park. Motor running so we don't drain the battery. Got the thumbs up. So now buddy or yourself is out of the ditch or out of the position you're stuck in. Relieve tension, make sure the park, vehicles park, etc. Uh, gonna walk this out to relieve tension on here. This is slack. We can unhook and just with gloves, hold on, and you're just gonna walk it back in while it's still under load. Now, this kit's designed for straight line winching only. So this is a straight pull here, comes directly forward of the truck. You can go at angles up to 15 degrees, but you don't want to exceed angles of five degrees up and down. It will put uh, poor loading on the winch mount and could cause damage. rattle hook here. Get your fingers out of the way when we get close, just tap it in. And you can hear the amperage off a bit and uh, she's nice and stuck. And then when you're done using it, click the off button, that way you don't accidentally hit it in and out. Put that in your cab and you're good to go.